Hey there, starlings. Welcome to my sector of the universe. This is Jess from Capella Wellness here to help you step into your truth and start into your power. If you've never ventured to my sector of the universe before, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for being here. For those who are returning, thank you so very much for your loyalty and support. For those who are subscribed to this channel, thank you for supporting this channel. And for those who haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and click on that red rectangular lovely button that says subscribe on it um anyway happy summer to all of you we are now in the summer solstice this is exciting new beginnings new lots of things um i wish all of you right off the get-go a wonderful summer also if you would like to book a personal reading with me to help you spiritually grow and become the highest version of yourself feel free to click on one of the links in the description box below or go to capellawellness.com to see all of the readings that I offer. All right, guys, with that being said, let's get into your reading. Hey there, Leo. Welcome to your weekly reading. Thank you so very much for being here. I really appreciate it. So I hope you guys are doing awesome. If you're not... Don't worry, this too shall pass. Things always come in cycles, but if you're doing great, keep it up. Stay high vibe, okay? It's hard. You just, it's up to you. Stay high vibe. It's always important. All right, Leo. We are going to see what your overall theme for this week is. What you need to avoid and what you need to focus on. Also, if this doesn't resonate, please check your moon and rising signs. If it does resonate, check those signs anyway so you get a broader picture as to what is coming for you this week. Also, stick around to the end so that you can ask a question and get an accurate answer from the angels and we'll see what's coming to you with regards to love. We'll pull a card for your love situation, okay? So, we have 33. It's an ascended master number. That's a Jesus number for me. Blossoming. You are growing. You are in your journey. You are becoming that beautiful lotus that emerges from the murky waters, right? If you don't already know, a lotus starts all the way at the bottom of a lake, whatever, dirty water. It rises up and it blossoms into this beautiful flower right awakening enlightenment that type of thing this is your theme for this week where either you are already in this stage you're beginning to grow and to become somebody that people are starting to to wonder what's going on with leo um i'm hearing from spirit that some of you are starting to change quite a bit and other people are like well who are you and some of you might actually be saying oh well are you better than me you know and blah 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 don't listen to those people because when we ascend and we start really shining our light i mean look at the light coming from the violin i'm getting from this some of you might be pursuing uh creative um endeavors with regards to music all right i actually play violin i don't play professionally obviously but it's one of my pastimes um so make sure that you don't listen to those who are starting to see you change, starting to see your light get brighter, okay? And that's so funny that the light is really coming through this now because I just did another reading and it was not like this. So there's a reason, all right? I'm not gonna try to fix it because spirit is like, no, just leave it in the light. This is exactly what you are becoming. Some of you need to start focusing on this because this is the theme for the week. Blossoming like the flower that you are. Growing like that, that beautiful sequoia tree, right? This is you really not giving up and continuing on your path to self-growth. Because when you focus on that and you continue to grow into the person you were meant to be in this lifetime, things start shifting for you. The miracles start uh, coming in. Abundance comes in. You start attracting more harmonious relationships and not just, you know, romantic ones. These are just relationships of all forms. I don't know why this thing bars 
in there. Anyway, <laughs> let me stop shifting this. Yeah, so you 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 are ready. You have done this through several lifetimes. So don't be afraid of the changes that you're making. Don't allow anyone to to um ruin the garden that you are tending to because that is what is going on right now. And you know, just continue to find peace within yourself. Don't let anyone destroy your inner peace. Don't weed out the garden if you can if you find yourself you need to do that. Make sure nothing is is destroying this life you are building for yourself, this new you that you are becoming. There are other people, yeah, who are probably jealous of you because of how much you're changing. Seeing how happy you are, seeing how blissful you are. Maybe, you know, you're in this amazing career and you're attracting all these wonderful things. But the main thing I'm getting is that it's, it's your light, your happiness, that you people are, are seeing you at peace. And people, they get jealous of that because it's like, well, this person has no care, no care in the world. You know, it's like when I went to the dentist's office a few months ago for a cleaning and the hygienist asked me how I was doing. And I said, oh, I'm doing fantastic. And she stopped in her tracks, no joke. She turned around and looked at me and said, really? Even with all this stuff that's still going on? I said, yeah, I feel fantastic. She's like, I've never heard any of the patients say that. So, well, that's how I feel. She's like, well, then she started asking me, well, how is that? Like, what have you been doing? You know, and she started talking about diet and exercise. And I'm like, it actually didn't really have to do with diet and exercise. It was about my spirituality. She was totally flabbergasted by what I was saying. Anyway, that's probably you, Leo, where people are seeing you as this, you know, lioness, this lion who's really stepping into their power and starting to, to shine their light. All right. And make sure you continue to not have any fear because people are going to start getting jealous of you. People might say some things. They may try to bring you down. Don't allow them to do that. A lot of you have already been past that. Okay. Don't have any fear as to changes that are going on. Don't worry what, but about what people are saying. You know, or saying, you know, you're going in the wrong direction. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Keep following your path. Keep holding the light, trusting the light and following your heart. Okay. Stay in Queen of Cups energy. Be in the flow of life. Continue to follow your heart. High Priestess, trust your intuition. You know, Queen, all the Queens I'm seeing, the Empress, whatever this is. Continue to blossom. The bottom of the deck is will. This is about your free will, right? You have the choice to change. You have the choice to continue on this journey. They want you to have the willpower and not give up. They want you to continue moving along in your journey so that you can fully ascend and then your life will completely change. Right? Don't allow, don't allow anyone else to, to make decisions for you. Have that strength and that willpower. Like I'm seeing the strength card. Again, the Queen of Wands. This is you letting go of that mask and shining your light to the world, right? This is you becoming who Leo really is. And Leos are supposed to be in the spotlight, right? I'm Leo North Node and Leo Rising. So doing this type of stuff on YouTube has been a huge thing for me because all my life I have Aquarius South Node. I detach myself from people. I was a huge introvert. I hid behind people and things. I hated being in the spotlight and now look what I'm doing. So that should be an example to you guys that it can be done and people will see you change and be like, well, what's going on with her or him? It doesn't matter. Leave that alone. Let those people say whatever. They can't take anything from you. All right. Continue to make those choices towards your empowerment. Continue to make those choices towards the betterment, uh, 
choosing things for your higher good, right? Everyone else has the choice to become better, to become the highest version of themselves. Every single one of us, a lot of us choose not to. They're afraid to face their fears, like the moon card. They're afraid they're tied to the devil, whatever this is for them. But we all have that choice to persevere and to really find that courage within us so that we can, ablo we can blossom and we can ascend. And then we start really attracting what is meant for us. Tending to our garden. I'm seeing Seven of Cups. Not Seven of Cups. I said that for a reason. Um, seven of Pentacles is my tending to my garden card. All right. What is it that Leo needs to focus on for this week? Spirit guides, angels, collective family, please and thank you. Thank you for your wisdom, your guidance, your support, and your clarity. I wasn't ready yet. Spirit guides, angels, galactic family, Pleiadian Syrians, please reveal to us what Leo needs to focus on for this week. Please and thank you. Thank you for your... Yeah, look at that. Woo! The king of coins, the king of pentacles, the lights really shining in his face. There we go. All right, Leo. Stay grounded, especially if people are coming at you and they're jealous and they're saying things. They're trying to pee in your garden. They're trying to derail you from your throne. Don't allow it. Focus on staying grounded and stable because you are becoming this king of pentacles. Wealthy, prosperous, you're wiser because you've been learning through these lessons, learning these lessons to become the higher version of yourself because this is essentially where you are headed, Leo, the king of pentacles. This is also master of healing of the self. This is where you're headed. He's also very wealthy. He's harmonious in his environment. He goes out in nature. He understands that miracles do occur. He understands that everything works. Um, Together, it's like the law of one, right? He really has worked hard to get to being the king of coins. This is exactly what you need to continue focusing on. Okay, Leo. They're telling me again, this is where you're headed, Leo. This is where you're headed. All right. Master manifester, continuing to manifest the things that you are in alignment with in your life. Attracting high uh, things of a high vibration. Continue to do this. Don't lose focus of this. This is really big, you guys. We'll clarify that, but after we go through a couple of things and we go after, after ugh, go over what you need to avoid. Four of coins. This is alchemical balance, okay? Finding security and stability in your life. This is you thinking about, well, what else do I need to be doing with my life? I'm reevaluating exactly what I need to become more stable, to become more prosperous, to become more wealthy, whatever this is for you. Being more harmonious in your environment. You know, this is the bottom of the deck. So this is surrounding you starting to find your own sanctuary so that you can, I'm hearing, meditating more. You're, you have the sanctuary now or you need to find one where you can be more harmonious in the environment that you're in. Be at peace with yourself and, and you know, manifesting, manifesting this wealth, manifesting great things. This is you... Um, Probably keeping to yourself, not allowing anybody to get to your pentacles, right? Not allowing anybody to get to the growth that you have built, the foundation that you're starting to build for yourself, um, the material wealth that you're starting to build for yourself, things of that nature. Stay stable and strong. There's more pentacle energy, okay? 
Don't allow anyone to throw you off of this. This is very important. We're now gonna see what you need to avoid. What is it that Leo needs to avoid for this week? <laughs> wow. The two come out over there? Yeah. Okay. This is interesting. We have 10 of cups and temperance. So what spirit is telling me from this, I'm moving something over here. Be patient. Just like those massive trees, right? Take some time to grow. It's hard work, especially when, when you're really in the thick of it. Leo, right? When you've been working hard and you've been trying to fight off these people who are like, what? You're doing this? And why have you changed so much? And why are you going down this route? And why this, this, that? Is it going to be lucrative for you? Is it is it actually going to to pay your bills? I'm, I'm getting that from, from some people. It's interesting. Um, but um, yeah, just take your time. Continue with your healing. Don't allow people to destroy your inner peace because temperance talks about inner peace. And they're telling you not to allow anyone to destroy that, okay? Maintain it, it's hard, I know. Don't allow anybody to take that from you. Make sure you maintain your balance. Avoid being thrown off balance. That's what I was saying with the king of coins and the four coins at the bottom there, it's, it's no joke. Stay balanced, continue your healing. Healing of the self can take some time, all right? Go with the flow, just go with, with what the spirit is continuing to lead you towards, those types of things, all right? And make, yeah, make sure you continue to release things that are not authentic that don't bring you joy and don't bring you happiness. Ten of Cups is a bliss card. All right. This is a bliss card. This is divine love, being emotionally fulfilled. Avoid misaligning yourself with what is true for you because when you are in alignment with the energy of the Ten of Cups, being blissful, being blissful, that is exactly what's going to attract the high vibrational stuff to you, to include material wealth, spiritual wealth, the two of cups, that, that harmonious, loving, unconditionally loving relationship, marriage even, whatever this is that you're trying to align yourself with, stay in there. Don't lose sight of this. Be patient. This is all really about balance. This is about don't lose your balance, Leo. Don't lose your balance. Stay in alignment with this bliss here. Continue your self-growth. Continue your journey to unity with self. You are going to get what's coming to you. You will get the Ten of Cups. You will get... You will have that storybook ending that happily ever after is what they're telling me. Okay, look what's at the bottom of the deck. I said seven of coins, right? Again, be patient. Don't allow anyone to step in your garden, to pee in it, to destroy it, to, to put bad seeds, to put bugs in it, whatever this is for you. Just continue to be patient. Continue to grow. Keep going. Don't lose sight of this because see, you're going to be reaping the harvest. It's right here. You're going to be reaping the harvest. Things are coming to fruition. Don't stay stagnant, okay? Leo. And don't go backwards. This is why you have to maintain your balance at all times and don't allow anyone to throw you off. They're saying again, the king of coins is what's meant for you.
Make sure you continue to invest in yourself. Avoid stopping your growth no matter what is what they're saying. You have to keep growing and going. <laughs> yeah, this is really about avoiding stagnancy. Okay. Don't, don't. It's hard. I know. Don't lose sight of your goals. Don't lose sight of your goals. We're going to clarify the king of coins. Why is the king of coins here? Spirit guides, angels, galactic family played in Sirius. Uh What's going on today? Can you please clarify the King of Coins? There we go. Please and thank you. Thank you for your wisdom, your guidance, your support, and your clarity, angels and guides. Thank you. Please clarify the King of Coins. Oh my gosh, you guys. Oh. Oh, Lord. I knew this was going to come up. You, you see, you guys, I'm not freaking kidding, joking around with you. You don't see that the Ace of Pentacles is coming. When you have the King of Coins with the Ace of Coins, I'm telling you, that is what is coming to you. You are going to be this king here. It doesn't matter if you're female or male, but look. He's holding that pentacle. That's why you have to continue on. Because you are on your way to get this. This is the ultimate gift. Did I not say the ace? Of the I don't know. I can't remember what the hell I say in these things because I'm channeling. I'm in my, my, my channel state and it's hard for me to remember. But yeah, my guides are like, you see, Leo? This is what you don't see that's coming. Stop fearing this. Stop overanalyzing. Don't allow any obstacles to get in your way from this. Because this growth that you're doing, this inner work that you're doing is going to get you king of pentacles and ace of pentacles. I mean, that's insane. That's insane. A new life. A new beginning wealth like you wouldn't believe of the material plane of course but your inner wealth is going to be so powerful you're going to be so in alignment with this abundance that this is exactly what you are going to attract that's why you have to continue to grow and to ascend and to become your higher self and be in that blissful state so that you attract all this amazing stuff you see how awesome this is but you don't see that. And I know it's hard. You have to be optimistic and you have to have faith. Keep a positive mindset, all right? But don't allow obstacles to interfere with the manifestation of your dreams, your aspirations, and your wishes. This is the, the highest manifestation card. When you've got the king, <coughs> the master of manifestation, and the highest manifestation card, that is like double the manifestation, right? Double the abundance, I would say. This is exactly what you need to be focusing on because God is essentially going to give you this incredible wealth. You won't see this coming. And that's the hard part because you don't think that this is going to happen. It's right here. Can't make it up. We have king again of pentacles and the ace. Look what's at the bottom of the deck. Focus on that goal there. Your pentacle. He's got it in his hands. Continue that healing. Look, it's the sun. We have the sun with the ace of pentacles and the king of pentacles. You see the abundance and wealth and the new beginnings, the amazing stuff that's coming in for you. This is the happiest card in the deck. This is really about your healing and becoming somebody completely new. Somebody so different. Somebody in such a high vibration. This is the ultimate bliss card right here. And this on top of the Ten of Cups here, you got to stay in alignment with that divine light. Stay in alignment with growing, right? Because this is what is being brought to you by the divine. You're going to have that new beginning, a completely new start, a new life. Look at all the newness with this here. Stability and security. This is a prosperous new beginning. 
things are going to be so different for you, Leo, when you continue on in your path. Stay focused, stay following your north node, whatever that is. Keep going. You do not understand what spirit, my guides are telling me, you guys have no idea what is coming. No idea. Just look at the cards that are here, okay? I'm not making this shit up. It's all right there. Oh, yeah, I will bring in Ten of Cups on top of this too, right? With blossoming, it's like your life is going to be something you've never thought possible. That lotus flower that people don't think, how is it that a flower grows from the depths of murky waters into that beautiful petaled flower, right? It, that's your whole story. That's why people were like, holy shit, what is going on with Leo? Can you please clarify the Ten of Cups and the Temperance card, please? And thank you. Thank you for your wisdom, your guidance, your support, and your clarity. Oh my gosh. Please clarify the Ten of Cups. Whoa. Well. I did call the Empress. I did say strength card. You're showing up. Give me a minute, guys, because I shuffled, did I not? Look what's still at the bottom of the deck. The sun. And look, the sun popped up. You can't make this shit up, you guys. This is a very significant reading. You have no idea what's coming to you. No I idea you have no idea the amazing shit that's coming to you leo and yeah there's you again right look at that you saw me shuffle it was a weird shuffle but i was shuffling so look we've got judgment the queen of wands the eight of wands there's the Empress, the King of Swords, Death, Strength. You're showing up again. You're all over the place, Leo. <laughs> I saw this too. You have one, two, three, four, five major arcanas that flew out, and then you got a major at the bottom. These are serious life changes, Leo. Major life changes transitions don't avoid heeding that call you're being called to do something do not lose sight of your mission what god is calling you to do because you are on your way to that abundance that is your birthright okay again don't stay stagnant continue to take action don't lose sight of this this is very important that you continue on with your journey. All right, don't lose sight of this. You're being called to do something, Leo, so don't don't listen to what anybody else is telling you, especially if somebody's saying, well, you know, are you sure you're on the right path? Are you sure that's what you're supposed to be doing? I will tell you one quick thing. I had my mom tell me the other day, you know, just make sure you keep your options open to go back, you know, in case you go back to where you were working. And, and, and one day I will tell you guys what I was doing, but I had a very prestigious job. I did. I'm not saying this to be, you know, arrogant or anything, because there's no arrogance in this. This is my story. But I had a very prestigious job and, and, you know, people, my family was all like for it and they would brag about it and stuff like that. And, you know, my parents, my mom especially is still surprised that I'm doing what I'm doing right now. But you know what? I don't, I don't care. This, this is what I'm being called to do. This is what I'm being called to do. And, you know, nobody can take that away from me. I know this is what I was meant to do and I'm reaping my rewards for them. All right. And don't doubt don't doubt. Continue to learn your karmic lessons and don't doubt because these things are going to change. The Queen of Wands. Something about 
Yes, maintain your courage and your confidence. Continue to envision that that vi envision that visionary that you are. Envision that leader that you are. Don't be impulsive. Don't be. I keep hearing fiery. Allow the universe to, to take over and continue to put you on your path and try not to do things your way. That's for some of you, okay? Again, take it how it resonates. That's for some. I'm hearing my way or the highway. Maybe some of you may have been in that type of energy before. Maybe not. This is avoiding being too strong-willed. Or juggling things. We do have the Eight of Wands. Try not to do too much. You don't have to do too much. Just continue on what your heart is telling you on your to go on your spiritual path. Just don't do too much. And don't be pessimistic either. Avoid pessimism. Avoid those people who are who are being pessimistic as well, who are trying to come at you with these words, right? Oh, you can't do that. You think you're better than I am or whatever, whatever. You can't do this. You can't do that. That's what I'm getting from this combination here. And yes, this is avo avoiding a lot of uh, activity, too much going on, too many distractions. Make sure that, you know, you don't, again, stay stagnant. Keep going. Avoid any delays. Just keep going on in your path. Here's the Empress. Stay in your power. Stay in your power, Leo. Continue to connect to the divine. Have that direct line of communication with the divine. Don't let anyone tell you any different. Avoid feeling insecure about who you are becoming because you are also becoming the empress, right? Whether you're, you're a man or a woman, it doesn't matter. This is where you're headed. You're heading towards great things. Again, spirit is saying you have no idea what is coming to you. No idea. Stay in that power. Continue fulfilling your creative endeavors. Continue to do creative things. Don't neglect your self-care either. Don't <laughs> stop doing your self-care routines. Don't stop taking care of yourself. Focus on you first and foremost, okay? And don't be insecure. And don't allow anyone, if anyone's jealous of you or they're telling you these words and stuff, don't allow them to, to um, pull you away from what you've already done, what you've already accomplished. And here's the King of Swords. Keep cutting people out. Don't try to control things. Again, stand firm in your beliefs. Don't be too logical. Okay, death, yeah, you're undergoing a transformation here. A lot of external changes, a lot of transitions, things are changing a lot. This is profound change and transformation. This is you facing your fears. Don't allow yourself to start having anything that may resurface based on what you were fearful of to, to come back up, okay? Continue to purge. There's external and internal changes going on. Don't be afraid of the external changes too because when you change, your environment changes and then you, you will lose friends, you will lose jobs, but your family will be looking at you in a different light. Some will be supportive. Some will start questioning you. Some won't be supportive. It doesn't matter. Continue on your path, okay? Because again, with all this abundance, guys, all these amazing things, it's you just don't know. The strength card. The strength card is here. This is like, don't give up. Don't lose your confidence. Don't lose that power. Don't give in. All right? Don't give in to any other fears or 
th again, I keep hearing from spirit. This is like people trying to interfere with your, your, your self-confidence and your growth here. Don't feel vulnerable. Again, this is, don't doubt yourself. Don't lose confidence in yourself. Continue on your path. You are growing, you are becoming stronger, you are becoming more powerful. Don't allow yourself to feel any type of weakness. If you do, recenter yourself, ground yourself, stay focused on the fact that that ace is trying to come in. All right? And we already said the sun is at the bottom of the deck again. Like, this is pretty big, Leo. Congratulations. All right? Keep at it. I know it's, it was hard for me too. And I oh I remember one day like I got I could have sworn the dark forces were coming in and I almost emailed my last boss and said, Hey, can you get me my job back? type of thing, because I put in my two weeks last year and they're like, Can I get I almost emailed him and said, Could I get my job back? Because I started freaking out. And you know who that was? The devil was coming in. The dark forces were messing with me and based on the planetary transits that day, I don't remember. I have to look it up in my notes, my, my journal. Fear was kicking in again. And I was like, nope. And other people were like, are you sure you should go back to your job? Nope. I'm so glad that I didn't. Here's your guidance for the week. Organize for success. Do not let the word organize intimidate you as it is simply a way for you to ensure clarity of purpose. Organizing your thoughts, your reports, your living and workspace, and your finances will help you know and plan your next action steps. Take this how it resonates. It may literally be what this says here, but this is also like really making sure everything is in alignment. Al aligning yourself with what it is that you truly want and just organizing your thoughts, right? Organizing um activities for yourself that will keep you in alignment that will keep you balanced that will keep you on your path this is and not only is it just like you know doing what it says here it's really about focusing on that light being in alignment with that light that she's holding there the divine light and and just making sure that you are not um affected by any outside forces right ask for your needs to be met god and the angels come to your aid only if you make a free will choice to be helped and it begins with asking it doesn't matter how you ask god for help but only that you do so the same holds true with clearly asking other people to assist you so yeah you know if this is hard for you leo and you just ask ask for help ask your angels this is really about asking your angels for help. Archangel Michael, a spirit, my ancestors, grandma, grandpa, whomever, help me get through this, right? Help me to continue to get through this because I know uh, I'm, I'm, I have abundance coming to me. There's so many wonderful things coming to me. It's a hard journey. Just ask them to for strength. Ask them for additional strength, additional guidance, signs, synchronicities, right? I had to do that just the other week because I was like, man, you know, this has been tough and, and, you know, other things I try to not allow myself to go back to who I was and with the negative thinking. And I would always ask my guides and my angels, everybody, please augment my faith, my strength, my hope, those types of things, you know, keep me grounded, help me to, to give me signs to tell me that I'm still on the right path, that type of thing. But you won't be granted this these extra downloads, these signs and synchronicities. You won't be given that help unless you ask for help. And if you need some other help, whether it's from financial or whatever it is, just don't be afraid to ask family, friends, whomever. Hey, I just need a few more bucks or I need some more support. Can you can you can we have a phone call and talk about some things? That type of stuff. Don't be afraid. Quiet retreat. It's time to disconnect from the outer world so that you can discern and process your true thoughts and feelings from your inner world. Create this quiet time for yourself and you'll have more clarity about what to do next. Yeah, going out in nature for sure. 
taking a vacation, quieting your mind, getting away from the world. Yeah, disconnect from the outer world. Just, just process what's going on. Continue to find that inner peace because especially with Eight of Wands there and people coming in probably who, who are trying to derail you, trying to throw you off your path. Just move away. Find some solace. Your sanctuary, right? Go back to your sanctuary, which is what I was talking about, the Four of Pentacles. Go back there. Every time that you doubt yourself, that you feel vulnerable, you're not sure if you're on the right path, if... if um, you know, you're losing your strength, you're losing your faith, you're losing your hope, go into nature, meditate, go back to your sanctuary and recalibrate yourself so you can raise your vibration again. Release resentment about money. Yes, the money system of the world can seem upsetting, but holding your resentments about finances just pushes your abundance away. Instead, see money as a tool you can use to better the world, and this shift will help you attract support and golden opportunities. Yeah, some of you might be feeling this, right? There's like, some of you think there's not enough money to go around. Maybe with the four pentacles too, you're being a little bit too frugal and, and you know you're like what's mine is mine type of thing and that's only for for some of you take it how it resonates as a general reading but start realizing sorry the i fell off my table <laughs> my elbow did anyway yeah if you have resentment what is that that's lower vibrational right and it's not just with money spirit is telling me resentments about other things take it how it resonates whatever intuitive hit you're getting from this card Trust in that, okay? That is the message for you. It's not just releasing resentments about money. It's releasing resentments about other things. It's different for everybody because it's a general reading. And when you have resentments toward things, Leo, then what is that? That's low vibrational, right? We don't want to be in a low vibration. We want it to be high because of look at all the greatness here that's on the board, on the altar here. Make sure that you you give a little bit more to get more. It's the law of giving, of receiving. Look it up. The more you give, the more you get. What you put into the universe is what you get back. If you're not putting in, you know, positive things into the universe, then you won't get the positive things back, right? That's, that's how it works. So money is energy. That's all it is. And there's enough to go around for everyone. So let's put these here. The bottom of the deck is pay yourself first. Make yourself your most important financial obligation by setting aside a portion of your income every time you are paid. This loving form of self-care ensures that you'll have savings to invest in your present and your future. Yeah, some of you, we did see four pentacles, saving more, focus on saving more to build your wealth. Um, you know, yeah, building that material wealth, focusing on growing so that you can start building that material wealth, having that sanctuary, meditating and going within and, and not losing sight of your goals. Um, but also pay yourself first. Not only is it with, you know, setting aside money for you, again, take it how it resonates, but for others of you, this really talks about focusing on yourself, your growth, right? your self-care and not just with money it's with your health your well-being okay so what we're now going to do is we're going to see what's going on with love for you what is coming to leo at this time with regards to love spirit guides angels galactic family played in series please and thank you thank you for your wisdom your guidance your support and your clarity what is coming towards Leo with regards to love? Wicked, mischievous, naughty, harmful, dangerous, false portrayal, lie, cheat, beware. Oh. Okay. They want me to show the bottom of the deck real quick. It says it's a plan. Getting asked out, text message or call with intent to date, tentative plans, making solidifying plan. All right, Leo. Okay, so 
The first thing I got from this is there's somebody around you. You may be asked out on a date or somebody might send you a text message to go do something. But there's 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 uh, ulterior motives behind it. Take it how it resonates, Leo, and be honest with yourself. I mean, obviously, I didn't pick this card, right? But that's what I'm getting from my guides. There's somebody's here that may be asking you out. They might ask you for your number. You exchange numbers, and they want to do stuff. But there's something shady about them. That's what they told me. Use discernment, okay? Use discernment. What I'm also getting from this is because I'm looking at the word naughty and wicked, somebody may be trying to entice you with something. They may be trying to trick you, throw you off your path, and ask you on a date and everything's going to go well, but but their intent is to sleep with you. They, they, they're they having naughty thoughts. That's what I'm getting. Again, take it how it resonates, guys. Use discernment. Trust your gut. Your gut is never wrong. If this happens or this already happened, Leo, be mindful. Remember this reading, okay? Trust your gut. This person might be lying to you. False portrayal. All right? Keep this in mind. I was hoping it would be better, but, you know, spirit gives you the messages that you need to hear, not that you want to hear. All right. Sometimes some of us want to hear only positive things. Life isn't just about all positivity, right? We get to a more positive state when we are in alignment with those positive things. But there's always dark. You cannot have dark without light. And spirit, while well, they want us to get like, here's awesome stuff here. But they're saying, be careful. Beware, okay, of whatever this is. Somebody wants to ask you out, wants to plan a date. All right, be careful because this might throw you off your path. I'm saying, for, okay, the guys are saying this is a test, Leo. This is going to be a test. This actually happened to me, and it was a test. I knew it. I knew it was, but I was just curious. I want to see what happened, and it's exactly what I thought. And I was like, nope, good, I passed it. <laughs> All right, ask your question. Meditate on the question while I shuffle, and we'll see what the answer is. Did something flip? Uh, it bothers me when that happens. No. There it is. <laughs> Improving health. They want me to read it, so I will read it. The angels want you to know, sorry about the lighting guys, that the health of the person you asked about is going to improve. You can request the assistance of Archangel Raphael and your guardian angels to speed along the recovery. This card may also be urging you to make more healthful choices in your life. Uh, If you're feeling called to detox from harmful foods or substances, you should follow that guidance. Removing unhealthy practices from your life will make you feel vibrant and strong. Bottom of the deck is it's up to you. You have free will. We had that at the bottom of the deck for the blossoming card. Focus on healing of the self. Brings you new beginnings. It's awesome stuff here, guys. Okay. Leo, that concludes your weekly reading. Thank you so much for watching, for subscribing to this channel, and for illuminating that thumbs up button. I would greatly appreciate it. I wish you the best today and always. I send so, so much love, and I hope I illuminated your well-being today. Again, this is Jess from Capella Wellness.
starring out.